friends i hope you're doing well in today's video i'm going to prune my rose bushes i have a lot in the garden these ones i'm gonna prune they are the knockout roses i have the pink and i have the red also so we're gonna go ahead and prune these today and then i have some specialty ones but look at the new growth coming out from here do you see the bud there so i'm gonna show you how i prune these and give you some information on pruning. First, before you prune your rose, make sure you have a good gloves. These are not the best for pruning, especially if you have the rose that has the prickle on them, but these work for me, okay? But just keep that in mind. And then I have a pruner or a clipper, and then I have a longer one too, all right? So just make sure you have a sharp object that can cut the rose in a clean cut, very important. And this is something you probably take for granted between each pruning make sure you clean off your tools very very important so when i finish each rose bush i'm gonna take some disinfectant wipes and wipe it off and a simpler reason is just in case if there's any disease i do not transfer it to the other rose okay so very important is an extra step but I honestly think it's worth it. If you think about if one rose has a disease and next you're using the same clipper to transfer it. Anyway, so let's get started and I'll show you how to, I prune these rose all bushes. Right, so first what I do, I remove all these bushes and remember to cut at a 45 degree angle, very important. So we're just gonna clip all of these off. There we go, and try to get a sharp cut. And remember, your roses are resilient, so don't worry about if you cut it down too hard, they will come back. So any branches that look like this, and any branches that's crossed, do you see how these are crossed and this is touching that? You wanna get rid of them, okay? Friends, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna remove all the cane that has leaves and all of that, you want all this to go, okay? And remember to cut in a 45 degree angle so i'm just gonna go in here and just cut and don't be afraid to do this because your roses are very resilient and they will do fine for you okay yeah. all right friends so this is why i have this longer one so i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna attempt to cut this out right here there you go so any branches that's crossing or anything so like this one right here you could see it's crossing over to that one so I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut it. Okay, friends, this is the way I do it. I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but this is how I do it, friends, and it works for me, okay? So do what works for you. So right here, this is too close today, so I'm going to go and I'm going to cut this off too. And remember 45 degree angle and why a 45 degree angle simply because you don't want water to settle so for example if you if i cut this straight like flat straight like that the water would settle in here and it would rot right so if you think about water bouncing on here the water would fall right off so that's why you want to do a 45 degree angle so that way the water doesn't settle in and go in the canes and cause rot so we're gonna go around here and right over here, you see how this one is crossed right here, close to that one. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna just clip, clip it off. There you go. And then we're gonna cut off more of all these. Okay, so here's a perfect example. Do you see how I just cut this straight, flat across? You don't wanna do it like that. You wanna go in a 45 degree angle, very important. Any stems, that are tiny like this cut them off okay they're not doing any good for the plant so i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna cut them off and right here do you see that that looks like it's dead and how you know it's dead because it's black or it's dark brown if it's alive it will be green and lush like here okay so right there you could see that look like a dead branch so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna clip it off too There you go. And you can see right here. You see the difference? That is green and that's dead. 
and friends don't forget to clean up your area after take away all these branches debris everything from around the, the roads and right here I don't like it so I'm gonna go in and cut right here and then all here so you could see I'm cleaning up my mess So friends, here's a question for you. And the answer depends on which zone you're in. When should you start to prune your rose bushes? Zones 3 and 4, you still have some time to go. Your month will be May. Zones 5, 6 and 7, March or April. I'm in zone 6B. Zone 8, February or March. So nine, you probably would have already done this. You would have been January or February. Zone 10, you would be January. Remember friends, zones three to seven, we have more of a colder climate. Zones eight, nine, 10, your climate is much warmer. So I know everybody prune their roses at different times. So make sure you know which zone you're in. And that's how you know which month you should be pruning your rose bushes. Very important, friends. All right, so this is what it looks like. Could I have gone and cut off more? Yes, but I like it just this way. And what you want, you want your rose to be shaped like a V. Like think of it like a bunch of flowers in a vase. So something like this. See? And then there's a lot of circulation coming through. And then these are going to get beautiful. They're going to grow tall and beautiful. And there's a lot of circulation to help the plant. So that's very important how you prune this. But as I said to you before, I am not a pro at pruning roses. This is how I do it. And this works for me. All right, friends, moving on to the next rose. I want to give you a good close up so you can see how this looks. Okay, this is in need of a pruning. Look at that. And if you get close in here, you can see where the branches are crossed. Look at them, right? So we're going to go and we're going to do the same thing as we did before. All right, friends. So let me show you one more time how I do this. So we're going to remove all the cross branches from in between and just prune the rose back down a little, right? And we're going to do the 45 degree angle. And I'm going to remove this small one in the back here. Yep, because it's touching that. And then look at this one right in my face over here. <laughs> so we're going to cut this one off too. And then, oh, here's a perfect example, friends. Right here. Do you see this? Right here, come all the way here. This one is touching it. So I'm going to go in right here and cut it off. There you go. So it's really easy. You just cut off any stems that have any bushes on there. Remove any diseased wood. And any tiny stems like these, cut them off. They don't serve any purpose. So that's how you prune your stuff. And remember to do the 45 degree angle. Very, very easy to do. So I'm just gonna make sure I clean this up so there's a lot of space when I look at the stems. Make sure I have enough there for circulation. Look at this one touching that one. Do you see that? It's crossing. So branches like this, you wanna cut off. So we're gonna go in here and just, just remove it. I said before, I do not have the correct type of gloves, but hey, work with what you have, right? Very important. So go on your plant and clean it up and remove all these leaves, okay? And you could add some fertilizer. You may be wondering what this is. This is coffee grounds. Use coffee grounds I put on around the base of the plant. So I'll be fertilizing them very shortly too. This one looks much better. I did cut this one shorter than the other one, but I think this looks much better. So you could see it has that V, right? 
that V shape and it's open and airy, so to speak. All right, so let's get the other ones done. Look at this. I just cut down a lot of this, but I wanted to show this to you. This is a perfect example of a rose bush that has a lot of cross branches. Do you see that? It's like you could see how many X's in here, right? Look at it. So with this one, this is going to probably be pruned all the way down to the ground. I took off a lot of it before, as you could see. However, because of all these cross branches and these small little stems, I'm going to cut this all the way down. And let's see what happens, right? Friends, here it is. Look how much better it looks, right? I think this is the lowest I've ever cut any of my rose bushes. Look at that. And I still think I could cut this one down because if you look closely there it's too close to that so I'm gonna try here and come I'm gonna try doing this holding the phone and clipping the other one yep there you go look at that so you can see that V shape right see that and everything looks airy and if I want to I can probably take this one out right here but I'm gonna leave it alone but look at how it looks and friends Roses are very resilient. So here it is. And remember doing this, you helping the rose to give you stronger canes and stronger stems and more bloom. So keep that in mind. All right, friends, excuse my shadow, the sun is out, but we're in the front and I have three double knockout roses in the front. So this one is a pink one. It's beautiful when it's in bloom. And you could see how this really needs pruning. Yes, we have some new growth here. And you could see a lot of branches are crossed. And it just looks like you need a haircut, right? <laughs> so let's take care of this one. And then over here, this one is a yellow one. It's very unique. This is also the double knockout rose too. This will be the second year I have it in the garden. And then let me take you over where I have the other one. I think I have maybe 10 in the garden. I don't know. I've lost count of them. And look at the tulips there, friends. And some hyacinth coming soon. Will be blooming soon. And then here is the other one. This one is probably three years or so old. Look at this. You see all this? So we're going to give it a good haircut too. All right, friends. Here we are. I prune these roses really really all the way down if you're looking for good pruning videos i recommend check out heirloomroses.com i love looking at their videos and learning from them i'm not a pro at roses i'm learning myself so check them out if you want a good comprehensive video about how to prune rose roses this is how i prune my roses and it works but as i said to you i'm not a pro okay so look at it it looks so much better so we remove all the diseased branches remove all crossing branches and we make sure it's in a v shape as you can see here's your v so we make sure it has the v shape and so that with the circulation the air can circulate in the row so that's what it looks like i think i did a pretty good job and then going across over here look at this one <laughs> I'm telling you, I went all the way down, but roses are forgiving and they will bounce right back up. And I forget to mention to you, make sure you clean up all your mess from around here. All the branches, everything you cut off, make sure you clean, clean it up. And as I stressed before, make sure you sanitize your clippers, your pruners in between pruning different roses. So this is what this one looks like. I try getting the V shape also. And then let me take you over here. Oh my goodness, the birds are out. Do you hear them up in the tree? And here is this other one, the same concept. All right, friends, so that's how I prune my roses. And thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And get out in your garden and see what needs to be done. And enjoy it, right? Until next time. Cheers.